What's up, fan fans? Uh, we're chilling at the Miller Lite Beach House, winding down another wonderful night out in Oxnard, and I just had to come up on the roof because I've been waiting to do this all week long. We have a fire pit on the roof. Look at how awesome this is, but if you don't make a s'more in a fire pit, you're just not doing it right. So I'm up here. I got my handy device here. Lengthen this thing out just in case I need. I got my graham crackers and my chocolate. I'm about to get this thing done. Now, I don't know if I'm going to torch this thing or if I'm just going to slow roast it, but I kind of fly by the seat of my pants. You see, there's no perfect way to make a s'more. As long as you warm the marshmallow and make it gooey, you're going to be a winner. So, as you can see, I like to let the flame just lick it a little bit, just tickle it. You know, just give it a little tickle. Oh, looks like I got some fire there. I'm going to put that out. And I'm just going to, what you want really is just the marshmallow to plump up just a little bit. Plump up, and then you're going to take this right here. You're going to make a little clasp, and you stick it right in there. So, this guy is making his way. I might have needed to turn this fire up just a wee bit, but oh yeah. That's starting to, it's starting to gold up just a little bit. You can see it. Oh yeah, it's starting to stretch. Oh, he's on fire. That's a full burn. That's a full burn, but you know what? No wrong way to eat a s'more, my friends. You take that right, heating off of that thing. Pow, pow! Ba bam Ooh. Got it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, look at the gooiness. And so delicious. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's so good. We'll see you next time, fan fans. How long did that go? Like two minutes? Exactly. Huh? Exactly. Okay. I panned out to the moon. Okay.